Superheroes. Comic books. Why are they so important? Who created them? What is the definition of a hero? Or a villain? Right here in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado. It is a state known for its Rocky Mountains. But one place that is not known for is Mile High Comics. Today, I take you through a journey. A journey through the foundation of pop culture lovers. I take you through the history of Mile High Comics. Here off of Jason and 46th Street is a special place that is not necessarily considered a landmark. A place with culture and unique history. A place where people come to clear their mind. From classic movies, comic books, to toys and collectibles, this place welcomes all with warmth to who appreciate what is a part of our pop culture history. I wanted to know more history of the place, so I asked the owner and the manager if I could pose questions based on their experience and the history of the building. Chuck Rosansky and I'm the owner and founder of Mile High Comics Inc. We've been in business for 51 years, started in my parents' basement, and I've sold a quarter of a billion dollars worth of comics since. Well, over the years, my favorite Marvel comic superhero has always been Spider-Man. And the reason is that my childhood was kind of crap, and uh, so was Peter Parker's. And so I related to Spider-Man really well. My favorite DC superhero was actually not a superhero. Um, he was the spirit which DC inherited when they um, bought up quality comics back in the late 1940s. Um, the spirit was created by Will Eisner and DC's um, done some reprints and they've also done some new material based on the spirit and uh, I always liked the spirit because of Eisner's writing and his artwork and uh, that goes all the way back to when it was created in 1940. Next, I asked the manager questions about more history of the place. My name's David. I've been working here for 31 years. Um, so obviously I like it a whole lot <laughs> because I've always done it. Um, I worked at one of our smaller stores for many, many years and uh, we've all since closed all of our smaller ones just simply because we got tired of paying rent and we now have this gigantic warehouse that we've been in for 10 years and we consolidated our other warehouse that used to do our shipping for our website out of to here also. So everything, the whole company is now just in this one building. Uh, the history of this place, the owner's 
started it 51 years ago, uh, doing, he opened, he worked in a store, he opened his own little mini store in the basement of a bookstore, and then he has grown to this since then. We have over 10 million comics back behind here uh, that are for just our website. Back behind over at our trade paperback help desk, we have over 300,000 trade paperbacks that are on our website also. So we're all inventory, we know where all of them are. All of this other stuff that's out in the, here, in the store area, is excess. It's just extra. And then we have tons more back behind all these walls over here that is uh, comics that have not been, we don't need right now, because we have excess copies. And uh, we have some gentleman that goes through and uh, puts them all in order, and then goes through the alphabet, slowly but surely, and checks with an inventory report to see if we have, if we need any of those issues. And he does that, and it takes him about a year to go through the alphabet. <laughs> so yeah, and there's a lot of books he finds over time that we've just sold throughout the website that we didn't know we had anymore. My favorite superhero for Marvel would be Captain America. I've always loved him. I love the whole concept of the American type character. Uh, for DC, probably Wonder Woman. I've always just loved the character. So that would probably be that one. The owner goes out and buys books. We buy comics all the time from people walking in and out the door. Um, so we constantly have stock coming in. I mean, constantly. Whether it be action figures, comics, trades, whatever. I just had a gentleman try to sell us plates. We didn't buy them, but he tried. Great place to work. Uh, I love being here. I love all the people, all that good stuff. Mile High Comics is a treasure and has created a foundation for pop culture fans who love being a part of the history. It will continue to please new guests and natives from the support of the people. Pop culture is a big part of our history. It will never die in the minds of people who keep the imagination going. This journey has come to an end for now. But until then, there will be more to come right here at Mile High Comics.